balls inflated, and he had to spend three days in the hospital due to the lack of sex given to this animal when he was led into the country for help. Now, if I'm ever run out of my country and forced into Canada, I'm not going to complain, complain about the lack of sex that I'm getting from the Canadian women there, eh? This is ridiculous. I sleep three days in hospital, he told the interviewer, which I just showed. Who asks him what his problem is? And he points to his groin and laughs and says, problem here, ball's very big. He said, make sex with anyone, the doctor said. Let me tell you something. This is exactly everything that we are trying not to have happen in the West. And I'm sorry if it's politically incorrect, but if you are going to come into our country because your country is being destroyed, regardless of the reason, I don't give a damn what reason it is, if you're going to come into the country, then at least not act like an animal. How about that? Ridiculous. Kid Daniels Infowars, the dumb D of the day. The last one was gonna be uh, dumb D of the day, but well, there could be two. But, no, we gotta, we gotta give it where it's earned. Look at this. As we get our dum dee music ready here. School suspends student over pro-veteran shirt. Yep. You can see it right there. Absolutely amazing. We'll let the dum dee music play for a second here. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys, here we go. An Oregon middle school suspended an eighth grader for wearing a pro-veteran shirt with the phrase, standing for those who stood for us. Yeah, God forbid, you know, God forbid. Obviously, he's got a gun on his shirt, so he must be a terrorist. What they need to do is stop the zero tolerance policies, not change the t-shirts. Now, please, somebody contact the school. Somebody listening to my voice, please. Please, please contact the school. Call them. Let them know that you won't stand for this. Please, please do this. Otherwise, I'm reporting for nothing. Commentating. School officials at Dexter McCarty Middle School in Grisham. Dexter McCarty Middle School in Grisham, Oregon. Demanded Alan Holmes to change his shirt, which also featured a battlefield cross consisting of a soldier's rifle stuck into a pair of boots with a helmet on top to show respect for soldiers killed in action. They won't let me wear the shirt that supports the people that keep us free. I'm not going to support them, Holmes told Fox 12, meaning the school. I was nervous and kind of heartbroken because I feel like I should be able to support the troops who have died for us, and he should be. The 13-year-old, who was an amazing kid, also said that he wore the shirt to show support for his older brother, who served in Iraq for the Marines... The school suspended him over his refusal to change the shirt, which officials apparently linked to the recent mass shooting at Umbra Community College in Rosenberg, Oregon, even though the shooter, Chris Mercer, was taking psychotropic drugs, we already talked about those, and have been linked to violent outbursts. So, they're going to make this, this here, I'm going to put his name in the comment line so that uh, more people can find it easier. I'm going to put the school in, too. Um, what they're doing is deliberately doing everything they can to hurt the um the respectability of the veterans did you notice and donald trump had mentioned this did you notice at all when uh when the democrats were busy trying to say how much they were going to give away and to who in the debates did anybody notice that they never talked about free college education for the returning veterans or for their offspring who have been greatly hurt by uh, the the actions of our government. No. no, 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 no. Or even just war, even if you're in favor of the war. N nothing for them. They get nothing, absolutely nothing. And yet, we're going to bend over backwards here to make someone take off a T-shirt that supported the people that went to war for us. And I'm not saying you need to support the wars. I'm saying you need to support the warriors because they didn't get drafted. They signed up for it because they were trying to do the right things. Friends, you're listening to The Correct View. Sam I.B. DeGangie signing off uh, doing political commentary for the Media Speaks. Do me a favor. 
look up the work of Kyle Court D. Lake and myself over at TheMediaSpeaks.com. And if you want to donate to the show, you can do so at the correct views at Hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show. And a better show is always what I want to give you, friends. Thank you for watching. Good night. God bless. Run, Christelle. You're never going to make it. Up, uh, up. Uh, she's kind of making it. Yeah.